फोर नाइनटीज और थ्री सिक्सटी दैट्स ऑप्शन नंबर डी द राइट आंसर ओके ओके ऑल्सो सुमैया वाई यू हैवन बीन अपलोडिंग द असाइनमेंट्स सो फॉर आई हैवन इवन सीन अ सिंगल असाइनमेंट फ्रॉम योर साइड हाँ हाँ Okay, that is that is. I'm not denying that, but uh, you have to upload these assignments also, which are provided to you. But there is so many homework. That's why. Right. Um, I understand that, but take out some time to solve these questions also. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen now? You will forget the concepts, because mathematics is all yes, about solving. And sir, uh, I send that. Uh, I send the worksheet. We have okay. shared it. Okay, yes. I think right now you have shared it. Okay, okay, we'll be taking up that question from that also. Okay, all right. So, uh, when are we gonna start it? Huh? Uh, we'll be starting it in a minute. Okay. In the previous chapter. Uh, I don't know that. Huh? I will be helping you out in that. Okay, now. But let us first of all understand about the rounding of the decimals. Previously, we were learning learning about rounding of of the whole numbers. How we can round off the whole numbers? Okay, so talking about rounding of decimals, let us understand how rounding of the decimal is done. Rounding of decimals. so first of all you have to find the place value which you have to round off for example for example let us take the number 5.7 this is a decimal here getting it so say that you have to round it off so which digit we have to round it round it off look at the digit to the right of the place value getting it like you have to round off 5 here so look at the right of it so that is 7 here so you have to yes. look at the digit to the right of the place value so if the digit is if this digit is 5 or greater than 5 then add 1 to the given place value meaning that here the 7 is greater than 5 now right habib and sumaya yes so we are going to add 1 to 5 okay so that will become 6 here getting it 6 here so for example here 5.7 when rounded up it it is rounded up to 6 because here 5 is followed by 7 which is greater than 5 here got the point yes is that clear to you also habib wait how is it 6 i didn't understand wait how is it 6 okay step number 1 is that you have to find the place value to round to meaning that i have to round the place value 5 here now this 5 has to be rounded off to find the place value that will be Sir? yes habib what about two digits two digits and three digits four digits oh, we are going to take up those questions also okay now let's start from the basic okay? okay so you have to find the place value that will be rounded off so we have here five here that has to be rounded off I mean to say this seven here that has to be rounded off. This seven has to be rounded off. Getting it now. So look yes. at the digit to the right here. So if this number is five or greater than five, then one will be added to this, and the number becomes six here. But say if the number was five point four, so it here in the above case we have rounded up, but here it will be round down. Getting it now. So five point four will be round down to five. Got this. Yes. Understood this now. So that is the thing. Yes. Okay. Now let us take another number. Let us say that you have one question like zero point three eight. Okay. So we have to round zero point three eight. So we have to look at the digit in the hundred place, which is eight here. Okay. Now you all know about how do we uh read the numbers decimal numbers getting it like this is the tens this is the hundred and then thousand like this it starts now habib even sumaya like see you have a number 15.236 let us say this is number 
this is at one's place this is at tens place so this but after the decimal point you start it reading in this manner this is at the tens place and this is at hundreds place and this is at thousands thousands place good so you know that good so you have to round off this to one decimal place the question is that round off to one decimal place so to round off 0 0.38 to one decimal place we have to look at the digit in the hundred place that is at eight which is eight here now since eight is more than five so we will be rounding it up try to understand this since eight is more than five here now so this number is rounded up to 0 0.4. Got it what I'm trying to say? Yes. Both of you? Yes. Now take a question here. Let's say okay, I am giving you guys a question. The question is you have the number 0 0.34 and you have to round off to one decimal place. Okay, now like now here this number 0 0.4, how many decimal places it has? One. That is only four here. This one has two. So question was rounded off to only one decimal place. So this one also you have to brought it down to only one decimal place. Do it both of you. Round off to one decimal place. 34. Ha. Ha. 0.34. It's not, it's never read as 34. After decimal, you count them as single digits like 0 0.34. Never as 0 0.34. Okay. Both of it and your cameras on in the class. <clears throat> you have to look at the hundred place. Remember the rule is always look at the number in the right side. The number in the right side here is eight, which is standing at the hundred place. So here also you have to look at the number at the hundred place. That is four. If the number is uh, more than five, it is five or more than five, then it will be rounded up. But if it is less, it will be rounded down. Answer is 0 0.3, right? Okay, good. So may I, what about you? Yes, Sumiya. So the answer, so the answer is 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Very good. So both of you have understood this. Okay, now. Okay. So, so far what we learned, how we can round off to one decimal place. Okay. Now let us take some more questions. Okay. Now, right now we had learned about rounding to one decimal place, one decimal place where you had the example of 0 0.38 that was rounded up to 0 0.4 and you had the example of 0 0.34 that was rounded down to 0 0.3 this was rounded up while this was rounded down okay now and we were focusing at the numbers 8 and 4 here okay now since this is greater than 5 but this was less than 5 that's why it was done in that manner next we have rounding to the nearest hundredth nearest hundredth okay so take some example let us say ki you are provided with an example uh let's take 32.116 this is the number and the question here is that round it to the nearest hundredth round it to the nearest hundred here okay so look at the numbers here first of all okay so first of all we have to look at the number six here look at the number six here right so first of all like you have to add one to the round of digit here because the digit to the right most to the the digit six here is more than five right now so we are going to add one to this and you have to eliminate all the digits to the right of the round of digit. 
have to add one to the six. Yeah. No, you. I mean to say that you have to. You have to add one to the round of digit. Getting it? Like the round of digit here is two, or is this one here? I mean to say. Try to understand this. Like in the previous case, the round of digit was three. That was rounded to four here. This one was three here. So it became three here because the digit right to it is less than five. So the digit was rounded down to three only. Here in the previous case, in the case of zero point three eight, the round of digit is three. So the but the number just right to it is eight, which is more than five. So the number three was round up to zero point four. Getting it? What I'm trying to say? Yes. Ah, uh, now here the round of digit is one here. You have to pay attention to one. Now the number right. Uh, on the right of one is six, and six is more than five. So you have to add one to the round of digit. Meaning, k you have to you add, have to one, add to one, one to it. One. Exactly. One. So that will become thirty-two point one two. Thirty-two point one two. Add one to the uh, one beside the six. Exactly. Okay, now also the question is saying that you have rounded to the nearest hundred. So this is tenth place. This one is at the tenth place. Sir, uh, this one at. Six no, no. Why you will be writing six? No, six will be removed now. It will be eliminated. Okay. Getting another it now. Another number two. Another number two. If it's higher than. Huh. Habib, have you understood this? Yes. Okay. Now, question was saying you to round off to the nearest yeah, hundred. Yeah. Okay. Now, so the nearest hundred was yes, Asumaya. Sir. Uh, mm hmm. In this thirty-two point thirty-two point one hundred sixteen, mm -hmm. the second one is right. The second one is hundred. Which number you are saying? The second one here, this one. There are two ones here. Yeah, the second one is hundred. At hundredth place, yes. Yeah, how? Okay. Because we 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 have to not count the three. We have not to count the three. Which three? You are talking about this thing. Okay, yeah. I think. See, while we were, I while I was telling you this thing now, like whenever you have a decimal number like this, fifteen point two three six. Okay, so this one before the decimal point. Okay, now right on on left of the decimal point, this one is at one place. This one is at tens place. But after the decimal place now, the place value starts from tens, not from ones. So this is not at tens but tenths. This is at hundreds and this is at thousands. Keep this thing in mind. In fact, this was discussed in the class while the chapter was going on. We will discuss all these things. So this is at tens space. Okay. So the question says you have to round off to the nearest hundred. Okay, now so the nearest hundred will be it will be rounded off to thirty two point one two. Do one thing. Let's do some question in this. Then you'll be getting it more clear. Okay, so the questions you guys are going to do round of the number forty one point three two four rounded off to the nearest hundred. Sir, can you repeat that again? You have to round off to the nearest hundred. This is the number. It's the blue one. Yeah, of course, the blue one. The answer is forty four forty one point three. Forty one point three. No, that's not correct. Forty one point thirty one. No, that's not correct. No. What do you have to do if 41. it's forty one point thirty two? Forty one point three two, not read as thirty two. Forty one point three two. One point three two. Okay, pay attention here, Sumeya and Habib. So this is the number two. This is standing at the hundred place. This three is at the tenth place. 
while two is standing at the hundred place. Okay. So our focus is two here. Okay. Now look at the number right to two. That is four. As per the rule, if the number is more than five, then it will be rounded up. You have to round up. But here in this case, we see that the number is less than less than four or less than five now. This four. So it will be rounded down here in this situation. Getting it. So it is to be round down. Got this one. So th this will become 41.32. So this is how it will be rounded to the nearest 100. Solve one more question. Take the question. 53.667. Rounded off to the nearest 100. Fifty three point six eight. Fifty three point six eight. No. No, I mean six seven six seven. Hmm. Sumir, what about you? Eight. By the way, your answer is correct, Habib. Okay. Fifty three point six seven. Okay. So we have so far learned about rounding to the nearest hundred. Next, we'll be learning about how we can round off to the nearest thousand. Okay. So, may I do it quickly? Do it fast. Yes, sir. What answer you were getting? 53.6 uh, six and 6.7. Six, 6.7, seven, no? Yes. Ah, good then. Now, rounding off to the nearest thousand, I mean to say. To the nearest thousandth so let us take some example with the help of example we will understand this so let us take you have a number 5.2476 okay okay which is the digit at the thousand place here first of all spot that hmm? yes sir what is the question question is which one of this digit is standing at the thousand place here Seven. Seventh, right? Okay. Yes. So look at the seventh here. Okay. Now the digit on the right of seven is six, which is greater than five. Yeah. So you have to add one to the thousand place. Let me write a few important things here. Eight. Exactly. Okay. Now. So here the digit after the thousandth place that is 7 is 6 which is more than 5 so we add 1 to the thousand place thousands place so thereby the number we are going to get is 5.24 Eight. Is that clear? Eight. Is that clear to both of you? <clears throat> yes. Okay, then do one question on this. Wait, sir, can you explain the last part? See, one, you look two, at three. the digit at the thousand place. This is tenth, hundred, and this one is at thousand place. Now look yeah. at the digit which is on right of seven. That is six, and six is more than five. So we are going to add one to the thousand place, the digit at the thousand place. So one will be added to seven. So it becomes 5.248. That is the thing. Okay. Also, if you guys haven't noted these things earlier, you have the time now, you can note it down. If you haven't noted it down earlier, or just take the screenshot later on, you can after the class, write it in your Wait, notes. Sir, I'll take a... sir, can I note it? Ah, you can note it down. Okay. So all this. Haha, I think you guys haven't noted it earlier. So just note it down right now. Along with the examples, so that it will be easy for you guys to uh, recall it whenever you'd like to revise it. Sir, can I take a 
take a photo of oh, sh- this uh, sure sure uh, this is in a paper my book uh, it is i can't find it okay no issue so just I take the it. okay just take the photo or the screenshot after this now we are going to learn about addition and subtraction of fractions okay addition or subtraction yeah, uh, did you, uh, did you got that of- yeah i got it i got it i got that Happy, uh, do let me know once you are done. Okay. Yeah, I took a picture of it. Okay, good. Uh, take the picture of this also. Of that too? Yeah, yeah, this one also. Wait, okay. Just one minute, just one minute. You guys have to solve some question on this. Then take the picture, okay? Just one minute. Uh, so you guys solve one question. The question oh, is... I already took a photo. Uh, no issue. So the first one, uh, the question is, you have this number, 50.3456. That is the number. So Habib, you solve this one. Okay. And Sumaya, the number given to you is 14.3871. Sumaya, you, you do this one. And you have to round them to the nearest thousand. The same question here. After this, okay, I got the answer for my one. How much answer you're getting? Fifty point three four six. Very good. Very good, Abhi. So the answer is fifty point three four six. Okay. Now let's take one more question here. So the now next question is, say you have number 50.34826. Now, about what, what about this one now? So for me. Yeah, for you. See if you can do this one. Otherwise, I will be helping. Okay. No, I can do it. Uh-huh. It's 50.348. 50.348. Very good. Uh, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, Sumiya? I don't know the answer. Uh, can I found the answer, but I don't know if it's correct. Okay, just tell me the answer. Yeah, the answer is 14.386. 38? 6. 6. Why it will be 6? Look at this number here. 1. It is uh, less than 5 here. Okay, now less than five here so just it will be rounded down so you're not going to add one to seven but neither you are going to subtract one from it it's like if it is less than five it doesn't mean that from seven you will subtract one it will be left untouched like it will be 14.387 only if the number were like this now 14.3875 or 76 then it would have become 14.3838 Eight. Getting it? Yes. So that is the thing. Also in the question number C, they were more than four digits after the decimal. They are five digits here. But we have to f- focus on the question. The question is saying you to round off to the nearest thousand only. So the fourth digit after the decimal point is two here. The digit after the decimal point is uh, this digit we have to focus at is 8 here and right next to 8 you have 2 which is less than 5 so keep the 1000 place as it is okay now so just keep the 1000 place as it is and remove these two numbers okay now everything will be eliminated only 348 will be left here after decimal okay okay you guys do one more question 
राउंड ऑफ द नंबर Understood. Now you you guys do do this this one. one. Both of you do this one. 30, 3.1249. I got the answer already. 3.1249. What answer you are getting, Habib? 3.125. 3.125. Okay. So, Maya, what about you? Okay. And Habib, you have a doubt in which question? Tell me the question in which you are having doubt. Are you in a class sit properly and listen to what i'm sir, saying sir are you are are you there in the class or not i am there yes. in the class uh, pay attention to the class yes sumaya uh the answer is 3.125 very good okay have you had a doubt in the question earlier you were saying you had a doubt in the question name mention sir, which I question understand everything understood it na yeah my uh, doubt was uh, then tell the answer tell the question and tell me what answer you are getting first tell what was the question meanwhile sumaya you solve one question while habib is uh, answering it 0.41275 solve this one after Sir, solve it i have uh-huh. one question yes habib In this question, five point nine nine four in my notebook, round five. round to the nearest tenth. So the answer will be five point ten, right? No, it will be six actually. See what happens here. You have to round it to the nearest tenth. No? So let's see what happens here. The this is number at the tenth place. So look at the number to its right. It is greater than five now. The nine is greater than five. Getting it here. So one will be added to nine. Try to understand here. It will be rounded up. So you add one to nine. So when you add one to let's say zero point nine, when you are adding one to this now, like you are adding one to this, so thereby it will become one, and one will pass on to this. It will basically be rounded off, rounded up to six. Getting it? What I'm trying to say? Yes, Habib, or not? Please let me know. Yes. Okay. So that is the thing here. Okay. Solve the question number F here. Both of you solve this question, and then we are going to continue. Sir, which one? Question number F zero point four one two seven five. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to do this question? Wait. Yes, so, both of you have to do do this. So I don't still understand for the rounded rest. up to nearest thousand. Yeah, round up to the nearest thousand. So, me, what's what's there to be confused in this question? It's four point one two seven five. Okay, look at the number at the thousand place. Thousand space that is this two. Then the number next to it is seven, which is more than five. How? What is the answer? Zero point four one three. Zero point four one three. Very good. And that is the correct answer, in fact. And have you understood this one or not? As this was your question, number was five point nine nine. I understood. I wrote it. Good. Okay. <laughs> so, me, you're done. You getting the same answer? Answer is one point three. Ah, one point three. Zero point four one three. You mean to say? Zero point one three. Okay. Okay. So today, as Sumaya has been asking, like she has some doubt in the chapter fraction. So we are going to take up her questions. And first of all, in the fraction, we are going doubt, to. What doubt? I can't understand. Okay. Okay. Like you are having difficulty in its addition and subtraction. I think right. Yeah. Uh, okay. You have to do the ladder method. Ladder method, or oh. you could do multiples. Like, Sumia, you have shared some worksheets. Like there's a worksheet, like worksheet number one, worksheet number two, 
and step number three simply says that the subtraction of of one upon five from two upon five will be simply one upon five. Isn't that very simple? Yes. Right. Okay, both of you just take the screenshot or the picture, whatever is convenient for you guys. Take it and but to make sure that you will be writing it down in copies. But sir, okay. I understand. Do I uh ask to still record uh just take the picture later on if you wish to revise, you can take this as a reference. Okay. You can just take this as a reference uh, for no, later no. use. Can you uh, can you teach us what to do uh, if the huh, sure, for sure we are going to learn about that. Okay, no, but after, first of all, after, after that, last, can, you, can you give us some questions? Sure, sure. We are going to take some questions also. First of all, we are going to learn about addition and subtraction of like fractions. Let's do some questions. So the first question is, I am taking some questions from your assignment. Okay, no? So there is a question like, you have 4 upon 12 minus minus 2 upon 24. Okay. So you guys are going to do this one. The next question is 13 upon 25 minus 8 upon 25. Do this one. Yes, both of you solve this. I'm done with the first one. No, no, oh. sir. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Just one minute. It has to be... Uh, It's not four upon two, I think. It's uh, uh, two upon two, I guess. Uh, two upon two. Answer for the answer two by two. Okay, what answer you guys are getting for the first one? Sumaya? Two by two. I'm getting two by two. Two by two, good. And for the next one? Yes. For the next one, uh, five, point, six, five by twenty-five. Sumay, it will be five by twenty-five as Habib is saying. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, now. So that is the thing here. So we have done some question on this. Solve some question on this one also. So seven upon ninety-one plus thirteen upon ninety-one. Question. Next question is. 113 upon 995 plus 839 plus 995. So is it 20, uh, 20 by 91? That is correct. Very good. Abib, you're getting the same answer now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do the next one also. So I got. How what answer you're getting? Nine fifty two by nine nine five. Hmm. So Maya, you also got the answer. Wait, I'm adding. Yeah, uh, nine five nine five two by nine nine five. Very good. Okay, now, so you guys have learned about this. So that was all about the addition of like fractions. Now, what about addition yes. and subtraction of Unlike fractions. So let's do that one also. Unlike fractions. So first of all, let us learn about the addition of unlike fractions. Okay. So as usual, we are going to take one example. Let us take an example of the number. 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 3. Okay. So for adding this unlike fraction, the following steps you guys will be following. Uh, you are going to uh, follow. Step number 1 says that you will be finding the LCM of the denominators here. Find LCM of denominator. So both of you find the LCM of 5 and 3. Okay. What are denominators here? 5 and 3. So find its LCM quickly. How can it be one? How can it LCM. be one? You have to find huh? multiple. It's a multiple. Is one a multiple of five or three? Habib, I think you haven't been no, revising notes. No hmm. There's no one in multiple. 
uh, one is a factor it's a common factor of this number but not a multiple Also, we have learned the simple thing that multiple of prime numbers, LCM of prime number will be simply the product of the prime number. If you are required to find the LCM of two prime numbers, just multiply them, you will be getting the LCM. Like say you have two prime numbers, let's say seven and three. The LCM of seven and three. I'm just telling you a important fact as we were learning in the case of LCM, we had learned these things. Case three that you are provided with two prime numbers, like here in this case, five and three. So it's very the shortcut method is to simply multiply them and you will be getting it. But if there were to be numbers like two world and let's say you had 15, so then in that case you can't apply the same method. But when the prime numbers are there, you can use that shortcut method, simply multiply them. But when we go by the process, the process is this, 5 and 3. Uh, 1, 5 is so 5, 1, 3 is so a 3. Okay, so simply the LCM will be 1 multiplied 5 multiplied 3. That will be 15, as simple as that. Did you guys forget about the LCM method? Huh? Yeah. And we have the another method to find LCM. Just write down the common multiples. 5, 1, so 5, 5, 2, so 10, 5, 3, so 15. 20 like this and write down 3 1 so 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 like this and we find that the lowest common multiple here is 15 15 so it is important that you guys revise what we have done okay now that's why you're facing problem that you guys aren't practicing enough questions and neither you guys are revising the numbers okay so maya in fact you haven't been submitting the assignments in okay Thereby, it will be difficult for you guys, okay? So, the LCM is 15 here. That is the first step. Okay. Sir, in some assignments, can you give these type of fraction questions? Okay. In, uh -huh. So, in, to in today's class, I will be giving it. But make sure you upload it as well, okay? <laughs> okay. Now, we are going to convert the fraction 1 upon 5 and 1 upon 3 into like fractions. So meaning that we are going to equate the denominator make the denominator same so step number two says that we are going to convert the given fractions into like fractions meaning we are going to convert them into like fractions and that should be having the same denominator and that denominator should be equal to 15. That's why we have found the LCM. Getting it now? So we have to convert the given fractions to like fractions by writing the equivalent fractions of the given respective fractions such that their denominators remain the same. So here it will be 1 upon 5. So what should I multiply the numerator and denominator with so that I get such a number which will be having the denominator? 15 in it and for 1 upon 3 also with what number should I multiply its numerator and denominator so that I get the number 15 in the denominator so for for this one I will be multiplying this denominator with 3 3 5 so 15 but the numerator also has to be multiplied with 3 so the number I will be getting is 3 upon 15 getting it now 1 3 is a 3 5 3 is a 15 and here I have to multiply them with you guys tell me five. Five. Did that, um, five. 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 and then the up one five. Five upon 15. Five. So now we are getting the same fractions, uh, the fraction with same denominator. So we have achieved our goal that we had to convert them into like fractions from now onward from after this. Now we are going to simply add them in a step number. Three, it says that add the like fractions as per the rule. 
So here we have to first of all add the numerator. Right now, numerators have to be added. So add the numerator 3 plus 5, that is 8. And in step number 4, as we know that denominator will be same. Getting it, guys. Denominator will be so same. It will be 8 by 15. Exactly. That is 15 here. So the final answer in step number 5 we get is 8 upon 15. Understood this, both of you? Yes. Sir, can you give us one question? Ha, sure. <laughs> Habib, you understood I this now. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, Did Habib, you tell me. Anything? Yes. Did you ask me anything? I was asking, did you understood the concept or not? Yeah, I understood. <laughs> okay. So you have the numbers, let us say. Take the number 11 upon 15 plus 13 upon 12. You guys have to add this. Take your time and add the given numbers, here, given the fractions. Okay. These are unlike fractions, right? Of course, these are like unlike fractions. This hobby, you seem to be worried after looking at the question. Hmm? No. Okay, solve it. So I'm getting 27 upon 24. 27 upon 24. No, that is not correct. See if the LCM is correct. That is again wrong. See what you have done. You have added them as per the like fractions. Are these like fractions? These are unlike fractions, Habib. You can't simply go on to add the numerator and the denominator. What you have done, K? You have added the numerator and denominator 11 plus 13 upon 15 plus 12. That's not how it is done. Follow the steps. Do one thing, go through the steps here. Look at this question and go through this ones. Go through the question. Look at the steps. Um, in the other question, we have to find the LCM of 15 and 12. Exactly. First, we have to find the LCM of the number. Uh, yes. Okay. This addition is of like fractions. What is the heading given here? Unlike fraction, but in hmm. step 2, it's written convert the given fractions into like fractions. So, what we have done now, like here, this is unlike fractions. Oh, oh I okay, I understand. I understand. So, should we find the LCM of denominator? Yeah, of course. First, you have to. Yeah, first you have to find the LCM of denominators. But okay. both are not like prime numbers. It doesn't like even if you don't have prime numbers, you know the method now? How to find the LCM? Have you forgot? I think you have forgot the method. Huh? Let me help you with that. So Maya, what LCM you have found? LCM for me, uh, uh for me, I don't know, it is 16. 16? Okay. 16. 60, okay. Let's see if it is correct. Like 
हाँ हाँ गॉट इट थ्री फाइव से फिफ्टीन थ्री फोर से ट्वेल्व ओके 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 इन फैक्ट डेट इज करेक्ट योर आंसर इज करेक्ट गेटिंग इट नो यू आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप सो द एल्सियम विल बी द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस नंबर थ्री टाइम्स टू टाइम्स फाइव टाइम्स टू सो डेट विल बी सिक्सटी हेयर so the yes. lcm has to be 60 here from now here here on you guys solve it further wait sir when i go back to the steps i didn't understand what to do after finding okay look at the steps you okay, have to make the numerator you have to make the denominator equal to 60 oh we have to make you have to make the denominator equal to 60 that's what you had to do wait sir uh, can i go back to that question Uh, wait, we have to multiply or add. We have. Okay, see. Let me help you out. Eleven upon fifteen. You have to multiply it with such a number so that the numerator, denominator yeah, becomes sixty. I was asking, do you have to multiply or not? Of course, upon multiplication only will be getting a bigger number. Okay. And that is thirteen upon twelve. So what? With what number should be multiplied so that the denominator is sixty? Okay. <laughs> Or when I found it, I'll tell. Ah, okay, okay. And guys, do it quickly as next class will be starting in a few minutes. Okay. Sir, can you go back to that page? Not the uh, page. <laughs> mm-hmm. After you have converted the denominator, then you have to add the like just, just like you would. Adding the like fractions now, so you have to follow those steps. No, so what do we do for the eleven then? See After what with I what? I did a uh, fifteen multiplied by four equals to okay. sixty. Forty-four upon sixty. You so, numerator also has to be multiplied with four now, and here same. same here. Okay, and Habib, this has to be multiplied with five. So that becomes sixty. So numerator also has to be multiplied with five. Thirteen fives are sixty-five here. Now they are like fractions. Now this number and this fraction they are now like fractions. So now it becomes really simple from here, right now. From here on, you have to simply add the numerator now. Yes, Sumaya. You have to add. Add the numerator. Uh huh. Do it. You have to add eleven. No, no. You have to add the new numerator. New numerators are forty-four and sixty-five. These are the new numerators. So adds forty-four and sixty-five. That will oh. be hundred and nine here. And the denominator will be retained. Denominator will be same now. Same. So it would be one hundred and nine by sixty. Exactly. Getting it, both so of that- you. That's the answer. That's the in fact that is the answer to this question. Okay. 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 Habib, I don't think you are getting it. Habib, have you understood this? Not completely. Not completely. 